All right, we're here at the Woolaware Family Medical Practice launch. I am here with Brett Collier, exercise physiologist, and we're talking about some very exciting programs he's coming on with. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, so I was talking to, to Dr. Timms about our, our work with cancer patients. So we've developed a program called CAN Exercise, so C-A-N with a ribbon. Uh, exercise uh, and we've merged with or we've, we've combined with uh, dietetics practice and a psychology practice and massage therapy um, all cancer specific so a patient can feel that they're, they're not getting lost in the system uh, particularly uh, with latent effects so osteoporosis changes in hormones um, sleep fatigue all those type of things we can sort of come together as a bit of a team yeah and I find my cancer patients are having a hard time already. Like it's hard for them to coordinate things. It's hard to navigate that journey through the healthcare system. Yeah. So having that support team is invaluable. It's invaluable to the patients I have. Yeah. Um, tell me a bit about that support team. Who's on it? Who's yeah. So um, Peak Health is the I've been running for twenty four years. Um, but for our cancer specific, um, so I've got six uh, physiologists that work for me, uh, all specialising in oncology uh, or exercise oncology, um, whether that's um, you know, getting, learning to move again, post-operative, uh, things like that, all the way through to I just feel run down. Yep. I feel fatigued. Uh, everyone's assumption that exercise is going to make you more fatigued. No, okay, we need to move. Uh, so we sort of get rid of that. Uh, I don't even really like the name of my profession being exercise um, because really? we really should just be physiologists. That's okay, I get that. so you know, managing what's happening with their endocrine system, their sympathetic nervous system, their muscle system, uh, and get that right first. Okay, and then we can develop the exercise from there. Uh, and then we got together with Ali McKay um, Psychology, um, and uh, because she's seeing obviously it's a bit tough journey they've got to go through, and she's got a group uh, of psychologists as well. So making sure that we're all connecting with the right people, uh, and then our dietitians is Alex McClelland and her team. Eatwise, um, again, all specialising. They work out of an endocrine clinic, so there's not you as you know most cancers of hormone derived of some yep. kind. Uh, so uh, we've decided rather than me putting on a psychologist and a dietitian, um, why wouldn't we actually work better as a team, even though we're across three different practices? And I understand you've got some stuff coming up in the community soon. I want to hear about Real Life Life. Tell me what's going on. Yeah, so Real Life for Life, uh, this is its 23rd year um, and I've been running the Fight Back Tent, which is about fighting back against cancer. So exercise for injury for cancer prevention, during treatment and post. Uh, so that's I'm pretty proud to be on the on the committee for that. Uh, we're actually the biggest in Australia and ninth biggest in the world. Uh, the so biggest in Australia? Biggest in Australia. So And we started Fight Back. So the rest of the world, all relays now have a Fight Back tent, uh, which is all the health services. Uh, and your kind doctors are actually coming along this year to do skin checks. So for 23 years, I've been asking GPs to come along and do some sun smart uh, and it's never landed um, I asked Annalise uh, Dr Crane sorry uh, one and she said yes can, can we get there and we'll bring the team so we're really excited about this year about the prevention uh, side of cancer uh, and then how to manage during your treatment and then again those living with cancer and I think uh, I've really enjoyed working with Dr Crane because she's she is very motivated and these projects just sort of you know you talk about them but you need someone who's motivated to push it and make it happen. Yeah, We've done things like we went to uh, a Sutherland Hospital Health check day and we did skin checks there for about five hours straight, I think I was yep. doing spot skin checks. Uh, and it is really important. We're in the Shire. It's the melanoma capital of the world. Yep. Well, the melanoma capital of New South Wales in the yep. studies. Occasionally the Northern Shores beat us, but usually it's us, unfortunately. Yep. Uh, so it is really important that people are learning those skills, slip, slip, slap. Um, I've got a new kid and I'm just hyper paranoid about keeping them in the shade. Yep. Uh, and yeah, I think it's a fantastic initiative. Yeah, well, a again, if you need uh, um, inspiration and, and motivation, you've come to the right place because uh, once you're in Rio, you can't get out. Yep. Um, I joined the, I was there as a runner to start with, um, saw it, fell in love with it. It was actually what I was uh, studying at uni anyway, wanting to specialise in exercise oncology. Uh, I was on the committee the next year. Uh, and I haven't stopped since. So, uh, yeah, it, it's I, I love it. So giving back to the community, getting out there, spreading the word, uh, you know, you can exercise, okay, with, with cancer.
And Brett, if people want to find your team's page, what's the name again? How do they find it? Yeah, so uh, Peak Health, we're um, at Guy Mir, uh, So peak-health.com.au. Um, or you can look up exercise physiology, um, peak health, we're up the top. We've been around the longest. Uh, that's why I've got no more hair. Um, the can exercise, we haven't developed that web page yet. Um, as I said, it's been functioning for 23 years, uh, but now we've actually just branded it uh, out there so people can find us. Lovely. Well, it's been a good pl- yeah. It's been a pleasure, Brett. Yep. You too. <laughs> I'll come and get my skin checked. <laughs>